we are live. Welcome back to Let's Play the Resident Evil HD Remaster. We are picking up with Chris's game, where we left off with just a little bit of space left to explore inside the mansion behind the helmet key doors. I think uh, we had two little areas left, and I had forgotten, become unsure which one the snake was actually in. But, uh, I was hoping to go there last, if I could. So, we'll fire it up and see where we get. In the darkness lies your fears. Alright. Get my control, get used to the controls again. Yeah, I've got all this because I'm pretty sure we're gonna fight zombies. I wanted to go back up to where we got the armor key and try that door first. Hi, Martin. Yeah, I'm glad some of you could make it, too. Yeah, certainly a nice surprise for me. To me, actually. When it became clear we were going to be home early, she actually suggested it. So, I thought that was nice of her. Hard to trust these hallways. Well, let's see what's up here, because I'm pretty sure the snake is actually over in the other area. Hey, Infinimora, I'm doing well. I'm pretty hungover. <laughs> Got drunk with my uncles last night, but, uh... Oh, this is the snake. I was right. This is the snake, for sure. So, let me... Let me just reload to get back to the save room. That'll be easiest. I was right the first time. Need to take the elevator first. Fight your fears and survive. I did have a nice trip. There is already snow up there in the mountains, actually, since you ask. It's all right. I have a better idea what's up now. I actually think I never, uh, I never unlocked this door. But it, does it, is this the one that requires the pass number? Well, it was in the original game. Now it just goes in here. Hey, Nyron. Nice to see you. All right. We'll head down to the kitchen now. Ride the elevator, see what we see. <laughs> yes, the Avalanche are undefeated at 2 0 and 0. They won both of their first two games with Gusto. They beat, Minis they beat Minnesota 4 to 1 on opening night, and they beat Philadelphia 5 to 2 last night in their second game. So I am quite pleased with their performance so far. It's not just that they won and did it by several goals. I mean, obviously, I really like that, but they played well the entirety of both games. That was really nice to see.
Yeah, the way the hunters just, like, take down doors and reconfigure the boundaries of rooms is pretty crazy. Now we got a zombie in here who's... Opening night was Thursday night, so I watched that game at home, and at the cabin, we've got a satellite radio, so I listened to the second game last, last night. Oh. Oh, hello, fucker. God damn it. Fuck you. This kitchen is not FDA approved. No, I would say not. Anyway. Let's see where exactly I am. Okay. There's an oriental scroll on the wall, but the picture on it is western style. The knob is broken, it doesn't look like it'll open. Okay, he's actually down. That's good. Unlocked it. Got a little storage room here. Broken knob. Oh yeah, baby. This is what we wanted. Shotgun shells. Let's mix two of these. Get another full heal on board. Flash grenade, perfect. And the battery. The shelf is full of dust covered props and a deer trophy. Uh, no, Nyron, I saw the video you put in the Discord, but I haven't had a chance to watch it yet. How does it look? We happy? All right, yeah, I got no reason to ever come back here. So, let's go grab our shotgun, and get ready to fight the snake. We finally unlocked all these doors, too, so... We can roll this way to get back to the save room. I will go ahead and save again. It's kind of overkill, because it didn't really do much, but... It's not like ink ribbons are at a premium. I have seven of them. All right, Chris, let's do this. All right, assault shotgun, shells. battery away. I'll bring along one full heal just in case. It's an old typewriter. Yes. Let's save. Yeah, we could have done that at the end of the last stream, so... 
Oh, I am so excited for the new Resident Evil 2. It looks fantastic. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll do my first run through on that one with you guys, present and accounted for. Be thinking, uh, for that first run, should we play Leon's game or Claire's? I'm not particularly wedded to one or the other. I kind of like, uh, I remember on the original, I believe I preferred Claire's game, but... more time dealing with willikins, but I could be totally off base with that, because it's been years since I played it, and I never played it that much, so. All right, Snake. I miss our grenade launcher, but should be we should be all right though let's get the herbs run Chris Still fine. Nice. Alright, well, we're not gonna be fine now. Fucking window fuckery. going as well as it did with Jill. It's alright though. It's turning around again. I see it. Man, this gun, this gun is slow. That's my problem. Fuck you, buddy. Alright, good. That wasn't so bad. And yes, last book, volume two. Wolf metal. A metal was hidden inside the book. Metal of wolf. Alright. Fuck you, snake. The knob is broken. It doesn't look like it'll open. Right. Well, that's how I got confused. This is the room we fight him in, but... Track 
back out this direction. I don't really want it to be super cheesy. I've... I'm sorry I'm catching up on the chat, but I, uh... I have rather enjoyed the trend that really started with the remake, where they tried to make the games actually scary. Alright. Well, we've got everything we need to go back to the courtyard. We'll pass through that save room. Go do exactly that. No more Jill sandwiches. Yeah, Remake 2 looks scary. Like, this one is scary. Resident Evil 7 was scary. I want Remake 2 to be scary, too. And it looks like it is. It really does. No, no more Jill sandwiches. Exactly. Well, we're done. Wave goodbye to the mansion for good. We're done here, boys. Uh, hunks, all all of the old uh, side contents back. I I think even the uh, I think they even confirmed tofu's back. All righty. So I need. I don't need the metals yet, but I do need. I need the crank, and I need the battery. So, let's take the square crank. Let's take the battery. And let's save again. Actually, hold on. Let me mix these herbs first. Then we'll grab an ink ribbon and save. going on with System Shock. I think Nyvern knows best out of everybody at this point. we aren't actually quite completely done with the mansion. So now uh, they moved the passage to the lab in the remake, so now it's we actually will be back there, I lied. Hmm. Oh, we have to run past the fucking snakes again. Probably gonna poison us again. We need to go to the elevator down by the fountain and install the battery that we picked up. Yep, here they come. 
Ganked, of course. How could you not, right? Recreating the entire map, no new stuff. Well, I suppose that's good. I might have been interested in the new stuff they came up with, but... Well, we got ganked, but we didn't get poisoned, so I will take it. Definitely. Oh, Jesus Christ. Four emails? Settle down, boys. It's Sunday. Here, I'm grateful that I did come back and kill the dogs in the last stream. Battery goes here. So we can use this elevator now. I'm not aware of very many people who still treat Columbus Day like a real holiday, other than federal government workers who take every holiday because they can. Alright. So now we use the crank. We'll open up the underground. The sound of the waterfall seems to have stopped. And ours will be the pleasure of fighting many a many a hunter. Now this tunnel's open. In we go. Right, there's a typewriter and an item box right over here. No need to save now, but I will snag those ink ribbons. Yeah, we need to yeah, we need to go get the hex crank first anyway, so that's already pretty well decided. So stick that there. Combine those. A large boulder blocks the way. There are blood stains underneath the boulder. Right. Yes, we'll take the clip. In Remake, it's a handgun magazine, but I still just call it a clip. Remember? Yeah, no. Let's look over here at this little puzzle. The elevator's power source has a round lid. Open it. Yes. Take the shaft. Oh yeah, I'll take the shaft. 
There's an empty space for a cylinder shaft inside. Something seems to be missing. Oh, another clip. I'll grab that too. This is unchanged. Enrico, don't come any closer, Chris. What happened? <sighs> Double crosser. Enrico, wait. <laughs> Enrico! Um, well. Uh... Enrico! Somebody decides to work on Sunday. Acts like I should be too. Killed him with just one shot? Who could it be? Wait, he's holding something. Yes. Enrico is dead. What could he have known? We'll examine this so it gets its proper name. The end is shaped like a hexagon. Hexagon crank. And now we get to fight a bunch of hunters. I think you'd at least consider taking the ammo out of the... out of Enrico's handgun. Chris gets it hard. Oh, I know! We had Barry to help us fight these hunters with Jill. We are going to save, because now we've made some actual progress. Put the shaft away for now, we don't need that. I'll just use this solo green herb and get back to fine. Let's see, I'm going to put the handgun bullets away. They're useless to me. Yes. We will save. That's true. I wonder if Enrico's just some kind of sexist. Just assumes that a woman wouldn't be clever enough to be the double crosser. Oh, don't lie to me. It is totally necessary to use this now. Ah, there we go. There's a hexagonal hole here. Green herb!
Oh yes, a flamethrower. Chris gets to use the flamethrower on the black tiger. It's like the one little advantage he gets over Jill. He gets to use the flamethrower for like 20 seconds. Shells! Yay! Memory serves, this is the spider. See where I am. That was easy. you, buddy. I can't remember, like, can I refuel it? Ah, there we go. They give you the spare survival knife. You can cut the door open with that if your flame goes out of juice. You don't even actually need to fight the spiders, if memory serves. You should just uh, bolt through the door, but... Yep, they got rid of the save room that used to be here on the left. There's a map of the Courtyard B1. Take it. Yes. You got the map of the Courtyard B1. They do give you two blue herbs. Hooray, hooray. In order to unlock this door, you have to put the flamethrower back. Yes. Yes, I will set the flamethrower. Grab this other blue herb. I'm out of I'm out of inventory space. Yep, we're gonna have to go back to the item box, which I think is going to necessitate like wasting one of the blue herbs to pick the flamethrower back up to unlock the other door. 
fact, I already know it is. So let's just suck it up and do it. So we need the flamethrower to unlock the door back to the item box. There's a new fucking hunter, because of course there is. Oh. Uh, we can drop most of our items now. We no longer need the hex crank. We no longer need the, uh... Nope, just kidding, we do still need the hex crank. I would have regretted dropping it. We don't need the knife. We certainly don't need the blue herbs. I don't feel like saving just yet. Just keep the crank and our weapons. It's Discord. People are people are yammering in Discord. No, no. I don't. For, uh, all the channels I'm in. It's not a, I'm not even getting notifications. It's just I have Discord open, so it's making a little chime whenever there's a new post. Alright, let's see what's in this one. First aid spray! Yay! solve this little puzzle. Push the statue in front of that. And go over here and use the hex crank. Twice. statue over onto that little rotator. so that it's facing the right way. That 
gets us the cylinder, which we can go combine with the shaft. We're probably going to get ganked by at least one more hunter on the way back. save again because we made a substantial bit of real progress. We're basically done with the underground now except for the uh, the added Lisa Trevor portion which is always nice. Alright, so I'm going to keep the first aid spray on board actually. Combine these. Symbols are carved in its side. Will you turn it? Yes. So turn it till they match up. And then just gotta read it. Four, two, three, one. keep the first aid on board because we are about to have to deal with Lisa again. I think we ought to be able to steer clear of her. It wasn't that hard with Jill, but I wonder if Jill actually moves faster than Chris. It seems like maybe she does. What did I say? Four, two, three, one. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. You undid it again? You piece of junk. Yes, it is four, two, three, one. I'm annoyed that I have to do this again. For whatever reason. Series of flashing buttons. Press one, yes. Four, two, three, one. It looks like the power has been restored. There's an elevator switch. Press it, yes. Down we go. We do have an item box, that's something. How overcomplicated for a fucking light switch. It's Resident Evil, man. It's game logic. What do you expect? Right, right. This is the masher. So we need to get the box in here first. I remember how all this works. Alright, 
release the time. It's nice to do two puzzles to flush a toilet. Probably. There she is. More herbs. Suppose that's good. Snag those. Go ahead and mix them too. The barrels are full of gunpowder, but it's so damp here that they're probably of no use. Okay. Got a door here. I'd always do wonder, like, how did the scientists who worked in the lab actually, like, get to work every day? Did they, ri did they have to do all this shit every time? Fire it up! still be here. I don't know exactly where. Right there. That answers that. We want to take the curve. Alright, and we want to go this way. Okay. Iron, stop being so practical. <laughs> Drop off one of those full heels in here. We really only need to carry one with us. Of this guy into the compactor now. Well, I agree with you that Alien has a perfect setting. A garbage compactor. There's a switch. Press it. Yes. I'll take the broken flamethrower. Now we gotta go back into Lisa's fun house one more time. Place the flamethrower, and I think there's another switch we have to throw too. timed. Go straight, break left. I 
Chris, head on in. The fire's died out, but it shows signs of use. A huge collection of various kinds of dolls. They're all faded and worn. The desk is cluttered with old, beat-up dolls and used candles. Yeah, there's snakes in the water. Run, run, run. This looks like a family photo. The mother and daughter seem to be pretty close. A bunch of photographs featuring a young girl depicting various scenes from her upbringing. This bed is still warm. Yes, we'll take the jewelry box. Stone ring. A family picture and notes. There's something written on the back. November 10th, 1967. Progenitor virus administered. Jessica. Administered virus type A. Plasmalizing of tissue during cell activation. Virus fusion negative. Action disposed. Lisa. Administered virus type B. Plasmalizing of tissue during cell activation. Virus fusion. Positive, but delayed fusion. Body modification. Observed constant results. Status. Continue protective observation. George. Action. Terminated. November 30th, 1967. There's a journal left by someone. November 14th, 1967. I feel dizzy after that shot they gave me. I don't see Mom. Where did they take her? She promised that we would escape together. Did she escape alone and leave me behind? November 15th, 1967. I found Mom. We ate together. I was very happy. But she was a fake, not my real mom. Same face, but different inside. Have to find mom. Have to give face back to mother. I got mom's face back. Nobody can have my mom except me. I attach her face to me so she doesn't go away. Because mom's sad when I meet her without her face. November 17th, 197. From inside box, scent of mommy. Maybe true mother there. Stone box hard. It hurts. Steel rope in the way. Can't see mother because four stones. Definitely, we will get to the lab for sure, with probably an hour to spare. I'm not certain, I think, I hope, that an hour should be enough to do the entire lab section and finish the game, but if not, we will definitely be only one episode away. A couple of weathered old barrels containing what looks like water. Try and mix those. We'll head on back. Have a couple of zombies to dodge on the way back through the courtyard. Shouldn't be a big deal. We are back in Lisa's cottage. So first thing is I'm going to put this one away and get the metal object out. Combine these to make a stone and metal object. Um, I'm actually not going to save quite yet. That's a little risky, I know, but I think we should be fine. We will hit the save room before we head into our next big fight, or final confrontation with Lisa, which isn't really a fight, as you may recall. We got one zombie that's very easy to dodge. Hasn't changed, that's nice. I believe the uh, crows are gone and have been replaced with more zombies. 
<laughs> Very easy, easy to dodge. Is there more to do in Remake after Chris? There is if we want. There are more, uh... We'll have basically seen everything. It's just challenge modes. There's real survival. There's hard difficulty, which we haven't played. There's uh, speed running to unlock the rocket launcher. There's one tough zombie, and there's invisible enemies modes. But they're all just... Everything that's left is just challenge modes of content we've already seen. So I don't know if there's interest in that or not. I'm certainly willing to play more if people want to see it. But I'll kind of defer to asking for the Discord about that and see how people feel. Now we can grab the second stone and metal object. We can finally open that door under the stairs in the main hall. We'll get ready for the spook. I mean, we're going to start the spook then. I think the, the next thing to do, besides our regularly scheduled fallouts, would be to uh, start a new side spooky game, right? So let's go place these. Remember, I think it gives me an item box after I place these. I don't actually know. Wonder what's on the other side of this door. The two emblems fit neatly into the door. Open it. Yes. I'm saying it's already October. It is spooky time now, isn't it? It's an old typewriter. If I had an ink ribbon, I could save my progress. Ah, yes. And there's an item box, so we're functionally given a save room, which is good. We need... Uh, I'm just going to keep this loadout, and we need to grab the wolf and eagle medals. So I'm going to grab my ink ribbons and save as well. So let's get the eagle medal. Let's get the wolf medal. And let's grab the ink ribbon. Let's save. No, I'd just, I'd like to, I'd like to actually finish all those spooky games, which would probably require more time than that single week. So I'd like to start throwing them in as early and often as possible. Anyway, we head down here. Alter B1. Well, that's a hell of a name. All right. Lisa time. Can't remember if we get some kind of help from Rebecca or not. I would guess probably. You're a bit of a mess up. Chris, take a piece of the action. Oh, it's Wesker. I like it. Well, 
and that's all you have to do. Silent Hill. Well, uh, there was talk of the original three Resident Evils on PlayStation and the original four Silent Hills, wherever. So, all right, let's roll. I'd probably do, uh, I'd be most interested in one of the Silent Hills first. Probably either... One, two, or four. There's a large iron door, and it won't budge. Yes, yeah, so around here is where we place our metals. Circular depression. There's a wolf-shaped emblem carved inside. Place the wolf metal... the eagle metal. And we're at the lab with one hour of stream time left. Not bad. Use the elevator? Yes. Sign reads, will not open unless in first-class emergency. Grab those ink ribbons. There you go. Here's our lab save room. We're actually still good for now. Let's save. Lab entrance. Ah, yes, there is. I was going to say, I could have sworn there was more kerosene in here, and there is. So we will get some use out of that, uh, that handgun ammo we picked up. Which is good. I hate to not use things. Let's get the handgun bullets. Let's get the fuel canteen. I don't really feel compelled to carry a heal with me now. Booyah! That's the good stuff. So there's no way he's actually down. And he's not. Grab these herbs.
he's got to actually be down by now, and he is. Get more kerosene. Will you take the MO disc? Of course I will. It's locked electronically. Uh, Martin, I have seen the, uh, I've seen the movie you're talking about. I rather love that movie, and particularly the movie you're referring to. here. I do love Chris's higher critical hit rate. It's awesome. It's locked. If you can just get those levers on the side to work, it should open. Levers for releasing the door locks. Now if you can just release the locks on the levers... It's locked. Take the x-ray. Yes. Clark David. A name is on it. Clark David. X-ray of Clark. There's space to put up an x-ray photograph. Alex Bechette. An x-ray photograph posted on the wall. There's a name written at the top. Alex Bechette. Ed Fisher. An x-ray photograph. There's a name written at the top. Ed Fisher. So... Clark David goes here. Okay. Gail Holland. You take the x-ray. A memo on the message board catches your attention. Lungs, esophagus, stomach, liver, large intestine, small intestine, colon. There's something scrawled on the notepad. To use the electronic door, place the initials in alphabetical order. switch. Press it. Yes. Part of it is glowing red. So that's colon, esophagus, liver, lungs. C-E-L-L. -L, cell. Researcher's letter. June 8th, 1998. My dearest Ada, by the time you read this letter, I will no longer be the person you once knew. The results of my test came out today, and as I suspected, it came out positive. 
I feel like I am teetering on the edge of reason just thinking about my impending doom. I would give anything not to have to become one of them. As far as I know, you are not infected. I sincerely hope things do not reach such a desperate pass, but if it has turned out that you are now the last person remaining alive, I want you to get the material from the visual data room. Then activate the self-destruct system in the power room and escape from here. Please do everything in your power to make this whole, in ac this whole accident public. If everything is still running normally, you should be able to release all the locks using the security system. I have set up the terminal in the small security room so that you can log into the system using my name and your name as the password. You will need another password to release the lock of the door in basement level 2 where the visual data room is located. As a safety measure, I have coded that password into an x-ray picture, a rent geno a rowent genogram. I know you and I'm sure you will be able to work it out without any trouble. There is just one more thing and it is my last request. I hope you never have to lay eyes on me in this state, but if you do happen to run into, my, into me in my hideous form, I beg you to put me out of my misery. I hope you understand. Thank you, Ada. Yours truly, John. Exit. John. Ada. Yep. So John, Ada, and Cell are what we've worked out in this room. Oh shit, first aid right there. I almost missed. Yes, I'll take the first aid box, open it up. An herb mix of two green herbs was inside. Not bad. symbol resembling a power area is carved into the lock. It's locked. A symbol resembling a power area is carved into the lock. Well, that just leaves one option, then. Smoking that time, basil to heal. Part of a corpse lies on the operating table. Well, that's nice. A row of LCD monitors. They must once have been used to display something. V-Act. Researcher's note. There is now evidence that when the host loses consciousness, the body goes into a dormant state. During this time, the virus becomes active and rapidly transforms and reconstructs the basic composition of the body. The host eventually mutated into a humanoid creature. We call them V-Acts. Its speed and amazing muscular development are particularly noteworthy. After transformation, it becomes more agile and aggressive. Already, four of our researchers have died from trying to feed it, turning the place into an instant bloodbath. Ever since this tragic and barbaric accident, we have decided to call its kind Crimson Heads. That dangerous and precious prototype specimen can't be left there. We have to figure out a way to deal with it. Termination is definitely not an option. We finally decided to freeze the specimen and confine the body inside the basement of the backyard cemetery. Exit. Interesting. Okay, so we got that computer. The cadavers are frozen, wrapped in body bags. A variety of chemicals you've never seen before. This is all I want, a flash grenade. Thank you. All right, let's hit the computer. Login is John. At least Chris is not too stupid to type. Password is Ada. Basement door lock operation. Select floor. B2F. Permission denied. Try enter password. Cell. Permission granted. Unlocked. Okay. And B3F. Okay, great. That's all there is to do here. It's funny because Crimson 
heads are actually not that bad. Okay, so we unlocked this door. Let's go check that out first. A security system passcode transmission device. If you had an MO disk, you could transmit the passcode to the system. Oh, lucky for me, I do. Transmitting the passcode seems to have unlocked something. Yeah, no shit. Okay, let's get the note here. Facts. To Sanitation Division, attention Manager of Sanitation from Raccoon Disaster Contingency Committee. The contents of this fax are confidential and intended for the named addressee only. Any copying or disclosure of the contents of this fax to any third party is strictly forbidden by the sender. After reading the contents of this fax, it must be destroyed immediately. We expect significant increase in the damage done by the recent T-virus outbreak than initially estimated. There are several concerns. First concern, more than half of the researchers have been infected by the T-virus and died. It has also been reported that almost all of the survivors of this accident are starting to show symptoms of the T-virus infection. Second concern, our secret security patrol team has also been completely eradicated. Therefore, our most secret research is in danger of public disclosure. Quick actions are demanded to prevent mass media coverage. Third concern, there is a high possibility that most of the specimens are running loose inside the compound. We expect many casualties to follow. However, yet unfortunate, these casualties underscore the success of our research results. Actions must be taken to prevent our research results from being made public. We suspect the first official intervention will come from the state police and STARS. We strongly recommend taking measures against them first. Exits. Alright. There seems to be something behind this sturdy door. Open it. Yes. Warning, fuel may explode if shaken or jarred. It looks like a refueling device. Okay. So now we got the slide filter. And we got magnum bullets in the sink. We'll take all of those. Thank you very much. Now we'll head back to the visual data room. And we'll hit the save room while we're up there. Where is the third MO disk? That's one bit I can't quite remember. Okay, I need a... Uh, I need just a second. So, I thought I was supposed to have all three MO disks by now. Maybe not. Oh, never mind. Nope. There are two in the laboratory. The the tiger head is the only one that you can miss if you're not paying attention. I have about another hour, as it turns out. Tiffany just texted me that dinner will be ready at 6.30. So, obviously, I need to leave by then. I think we're going to finish the game. Not much left. Oh yeah, easy. Well, that's what I was just saying. I think we'll easily finish Chris's game. So let's get our shotgun and shells so we can fight. Let's 
swap one of these for an MO disc. I'm gonna put that away. I'm gonna get my Magnum rounds out so I can combine them. I'm gonna equip my shotgun. Put the Magnum bullets away. I am going to save because we've made pretty solid progress here. I do cook sometimes, Martin. She happens to be cooking tonight. Fuck you. <laughs> All right. To the visual data room. MO disc. Awesome. A first aid spray. The film has been set into place. View it? Yes. Umbrella Bioorganic Weapon Official Report. <laughs> MA39 Cerberus. FIO3 Neptune. I was teasing. That's why I winked. Maybe you couldn't see it. MA121 Hunter. T002 Tyrant. Bioorganic Weapons Research Group. Development Staff. And yes, look at that dude on the far right. 83417 Now we need to use the slide filter. Then when we get to the barcode at the end, 8462. There you go. Passcode entry terminal, use it. Yes. Eight, four, six, two. No, Chris does not catch on. Chris is kind of dumb. Of course, Jill didn't catch on in her game either, so. There's a map of the laboratory. Take it. Why, yes. You got the map of the laboratory. Security protocols. Level 1. Heliport for executive use only. This restriction does not apply in the event of an emergency. Basement level 1. Passage to heliport. Entry is prohibited unless accompanied by a consultant researcher or the chief of security. Unauthorized persons entering the heliport will be shot on sight. Elevator. The elevator stops during emergencies. Basement level 2. Visual data room for use by the special research division only. All other access to the visual data room must be cleared with Keith Arving, room manager. Basement level 3, prison. Sanitation division controls the use of the prison. At least one consultant researcher, E. Smith S. Ross A. Wesker, must be present if viral use is authorized. Triple lock door. Entry into the room is limited to the sole person who deactivates the lock with all of the passcodes. Accessing the exclusive output terminals located in each section of the senior researchers deactivates the lock. Power room. In this room, nitro compound is used as the primary fuel source of power. Access is limited to headquarters supervisors. This restriction may not apply to consultant researchers with special authorization. Passcode output terminals. Use and access of the output terminals is limited to authorized senior researchers. Basement level 4. Regarding the progress of Tyrant after the administration of T-Virus, illegible hereafter. Mm -hmm. The audiovisual materials are filed neatly away. There doesn't seem to be anything important. Let's get some shells. And the all-important lab key. Oh yes, and we can watch Kenneth's tape. Some sort of image editing equipment. It looks like you can use it to view Kenneth's film. View the film? Yes. Uh, what? Uh, get away from me! Uh, no! Hey! Uh, no! Ah! Come on, Kenneth, you're supposed to be stars. That was a major failure, dude. All right. Now we're done at Star's Finest right there. Let me think. Let's 
go use the lab key. I'd like to see if I can get a... Well, I should be able to just get through to the other safe room, shouldn't I? You use the laboratory key. Use the laboratory key. There's no further use for this key. Discard? Yes. Let's hit this room first. Ah, uh, yes. There are chimeras in here. Somewhere. Oh, come on! Chris? He's still fine. Alright. Precision instruments used in surgery. The operating table is covered in blood. This blood doesn't look like it came from surgery, though. It's rusted shut and won't budge. Okay. Well, that's that one. So now we can hop through this vent. Alright, good night, Infidamora. Thanks for joining us. I appreciate having you here, as always. The shelf is full of various antitoxins. A body bag lies on the simple bed. The date indicated on the bag is quite old. Let's see. Got a flash grenade here. And our second ammo disc. Transmitting the passcode seems to have unlocked something. You don't say. Alright. That gets us through to the second safe room. And the power area! Ah, oh, yes. Everybody remembers the power area, I'm sure. A few chimeras to shoot. Then, yeah, we're, we're finishing Chris's game. That's that's a thing that's happening. So that's the room we were just in. Not bad. The elevator isn't working. It looks like you'll have to operate the switch on the right-hand side. It appears to be the control panel for the elevator. Press the switch. Yes, it doesn't seem to be getting any power. Oh, come on. <laughs> Alright, yeah. No reason to chance it. We've got barely any game left and plenty of saves, so... Let's hit the save room prepare ourselves before Chimera Fest. Another first aid spray. Chairs and supplies lie scattered about. The walls are covered with dozens of claw marks. We got shells. We got one last hit of ink ribbons too. Keep one full heal with me. So let's stack these jokers. Save. Yes, I'll use the increment. Lab lounge. 
Tars handles hostage situation 20 dead. <laughs> uh, ain't it the truth, though? Let's put that away. Yes, Chris has the Magnum. I'm saving it for Tyrant, same as I did, same as I did with Jill. The assault shotgun will be more than enough to deal with these chimeras. may explode if shaken or jarred. Yes, I know. There we go. Sorry, I got another email. But yeah, we're, we're going to finish Chris's game tonight. We've got hardly any left. A refueling device for the power room. It's not working right now because there's no fuel. There's an empty capsule. Will you take the fuel supply capsule? Yes, I will. shit out of these things. Go to the next room. And we'll do the same thing. Here's the third passcode terminal. We use the third MO disk. Transmitting the passcode seems to have unlocked something. Yeah, you think? Double kill, as they say. The lab's self-destruct mechanism. It's huge. There's no power to the main elevator. Start it up. Yes, the system won't initialize. It appears to need some kind of fuel to get started. Right, right, right. There you go. Where did that other shit go? I know you're in here. There we go. We're low on shells, but that doesn't matter because there's hardly hardly anything left to fight. I think we might actually be done fighting. Save save the tyrant. Oh. Or the odd cheesing where something doesn't uh, doesn't get stunned like it should. Alrighty. I'm going to 
save before I do this too. At this point, there's no, there's no reason not to save at every little step of progress. Use the ink ribbon! Yes, we shall. Say hi to Jill while we're down here too, since we unlocked her door. <laughs> Levers for releasing the door locks. It looks usable. Pull it? Yes. Say what up to Jill. Chris? Jill. Chris, Wesker's the. I know. Can't open it. Just wait, I'll be back. Okay. Remember, we can't run after we have the nitroglycerin in our inventory. Set the capsule into place? Yes. You got the fuel supply capsule. The main ingredient of this fuel appears to be nitro compound. Running could result in a fatal explosion. why we wanted to kill all the enemies first. So we can't run. with dynamite. <laughs> yeah. Is 
Set the capsule into place. Yes. Perfect. Alright, so now we run back here. All the way back to the big machine. Turn on the elevator power. No power to the main elevator. Start it up. Yes. All right. Yeah, we might even finish. We might finish by six, because now literally all that's left is Tyrant. The way is open. Goodbye, Assault Shotgun. You served us very well indeed. It's Magnum time. Ultimately, what you want to carry with you for the rest of the game is your Magnum, your Magnum bullets, three full heals. One spare space. And actually, let's save before I forget. One free inventory slot. It appears to be the control panel for the elevator. Press the switch. Yes. The elevator is working. Chris! Rebecca! I saw you in the inner garden. Caught up. Well, I'm glad you're okay. No more following. Just stay with me, kid. That's my plan, sir. Wesker. So you've come. Chris, you make me proud. But of course you are one of my men. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Since when, Wesker? <laughs> I'm afraid I don't know what you're talking about. Since when have they been slipping you a paycheck? I think you're a bit confused. I've always been with Umbrella. And stars were Umbrella's... No, rather, my little piggies. <gasps> the Tyrant virus leaked, polluting this whole place. And unfortunately, I had to give up my lovely members of stars. You killed them with your own dirty hands! You son of a bitch! No! Oh yes, dear. Just like that. This. Rebecca! Don't move. You. I don't think you want to die just yet. I have something that's of some interest to you.
ultimate life form. Tyrant. <laughs> Wesker, you've become senile. Chris, you'll never understand. It's magnificent. Come on, you test tube freak! One magnum clip is usually sufficient to get you through that first fight. You gotta check on Rebecca. <laughs> Rebecca! Chris. It's a good thing you were wearing your bulletproof vest. There's nothing left for us to do here. Let's get moving. Okay. Let's go check on Wesker. What a pathetic way to die. He's holding something. Observation note. The discovery of the G-Virus was in fact 21 years after the administration of the primogenitor virus. The prototype parasite which we had delivered from a laboratory in France was administered to the sample specimen. The sample specimen took in the parasite without showing any signs of adverse reaction. The lack of any reaction was an unsolved mystery, but now everything is clear to me now. The prototype parasite was incubating in the sample specimen's body for 21 years. Then from that incubating state, the prototype suddenly mutated. Evolved may be a more appropriate word to describe it. This observation gave me more insight in my research. Through further modification and testing, I was able to derive a method to create the G that surpasses the performance of the T. This was the breakthrough that would change the future of the BOW's history. I can't wait to see the look on Alexia's annoying face when I finally announce my research, but unfortunately I'll have to wait a few more years to completely verify my findings. William Bergen. What a pathetic way to die. A machine used to compile experimental data. A panel used to release the emergency electronic lock. Release the lock. Yes. The electronic lock has been released. And off we go. What is it? I found a file in the lab. Apparently, there's still a lot of tyrant virus here. We should blow this whole place up! Right. The show must go on. I'll leave that up to you, Rebecca. I'm on it. I'll start the self-destruct system I found a little while ago. It's not like we're out of this yet. I'll see you on the outside. Outside. Alright, so Rebecca's gonna go hit the self-destruct. Uh, we don't need to save here. We can save, uh... Yeah, we can save when we get to the, uh... Exit room. <clears throat> so we can just head this way. Self-destruct should start. We'll have to dodge some chimeras. That's alright. Self-destruct system has been activated. All personnel must evacuate immediately. Deactivating and releasing all locks. Don't forget to go get Jill. Did all that work with the MO discs to save her. The 
lock is released. Jill, sorry I made you wait. I knew you'd come. Let's get out of here. Time. Shells, a health item. This is crap. Reporting out of fuel. This is your last chance. If there's anyone alive, give me a sign. I repeat, this is your last chance. Self-destruct system's activated. Good work. Brad's up in the helicopter. Those things are coming. I'll take care of them. But... Chris, you just get in contact with Brad somehow. Okay. Here we go. Twelve shots should be easily enough to take Tyrant down, but... Or at least to advance it to where we get our rocket launcher, you know. <sighs> Signal rockets, yes. Run out to the helipad and use them. Okay? Yeah. Here comes Buddy.
and we might just have to stay alive to the 30 second mark then. We didn't have enough uh, magnum bullets. Jill lies unconscious. Better tend to her quick. I think I need to bring along more ammunition. Yeah. Yeah, we'll reload our last save. This time I will bring the shotgun as well. Shells in here, as I recall, so. This is Oh, good, we can skip the cutscenes. Thank you for that. I just need it. fun. Nice little surprise for me. Hope those of you who joined enjoyed yourselves too. Oh, here comes the boom.
Resident Evil. All right. We'll be back on, uh, I mean, I'll let the credits go, but uh, I'll go ahead and give my ending spiel now. Uh, for those of you who joined me live on Twitch, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate it, as always. If you're new and you liked what you saw, I hope you will hit the follow button so that you can see when we go live in the future. Uh, if you're watching later on on YouTube, I stream at pretty unpredictable hours, generally early in the morning, not always a lot of notice, so it's easy to miss streams, but the good news is all of my content eventually makes its way to the YouTube channel, so you don't need to worry about missing anything. If you're watching there, I hope you'll like the video and subscribe to the channel, and finally, regardless of which platform you're on, I hope you'll consider joining our Discord server. The link to do so is either in the Twitch channel description or YouTube video description. It's simply where we discuss official business, I make channel announcements, we talk about what games you'd like to see me play, along with basically anything and everything else. It's, uh... As far as what's next, the next stream will almost certainly be the regularly scheduled New Vegas stream on Tuesday morning. And as far as next side project goes, I think we're done with Remake, unless you guys really want to see some of the challenge modes like Real Survival and One Tough Zombie and Invisible Enemies, but we've seen all the content. All that's left to do is replay Chris and Jill's games again with extra difficulty and extra challenges added in. I'm pretty willing to say this one's done. And I think for the next side project, my inclination is to do Silent Hill 1 but we can talk about what that should be. But it's October, so we're going to get started on our spooky theme month. So, until Tuesday morning, thank you all so much. Chris, you did a fine job. Seven hours, dispatched 99 creatures, used 321 ammo, 25 ink ribbons, 23 health items. Now play with features from the prototype version. Real survival mode unlocked, item boxes are no longer connected, meaning that items can only be taken from the box where they were stored. Also, weapon aiming is manual, experience these prototype-only features unavailable in the original Resident Evil gameplay. Chris has a new costume, you got a closet key. A new costume has been unlocked, you can change in the dressing room. And here's our clear game save. Alright. Thanks so much, everybody. That's really the end. I will see you on Tuesday morning for New Vegas. Good night.